With Battlefield 2042 officially over, is it even worth hopping into the game? Well, to answer that question, it really comes down to what type of Battlefield player you are. In one corner we have the newcomers. These players are basically just now looking to get into the Battlefield franchise altogether and want to see what the hype is all about. In the other corner we have the veterans. As the name implies, these players have been through the very beginning of the franchise or even maybe hopped in midway, but either or, this isn't their first rodeo. So now that we have the two sides established and you know which category you belong to, let's get right into the video. For the newcomers, first off, welcome. You have made a wise decision to join this franchise. And now that you're here, Son, you know, once you start, there's no going back. The Battlefield franchise is known for its massive destruction, wide range covered maps, and basically all out warfare. It's something you will enjoy, especially given that the game has adjusted to the newer type of first person shooter games that are out there, like Apex, Overwatch, and Call of Duty to name a few. There's a reason why it's been around for so long and has stayed relevant. Of course, not everything is sunshine and rainbows and you might have already heard some bad reviews on the game itself. On one side, you have people bashing the game on how horrible it is and on the flip side, here I am saying how good of a game it is. So there might be some doubt in your mind on getting the game and you basically being confused. The best way I can put it, 2042 is a fun and a good multiplayer shooter game, but not a very good battlefield game, if that makes sense. As someone new to the franchise coming in with few preconceptions, you'll most likely enjoy it. As the saying goes, ignorance is bliss. Quick mid video shout out to Ted Jean Jax for finding last video's hidden character. For this one, there's gonna be a character from Deadpool and Wolverine hidden throughout the clips. Same rules apply. First to comment down below the name of that character with the correct timestamp gets a shout out on the next video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Let's get it. In the other corner, we have the veterans, which is the group that I fall under. If you're coming into 2042 comparing it to the previous games, then you won't enjoy the game at all. It has less content, little destruction, a very watered down class system, balancing problems, no server browser, the list goes on and on. The game had a lot of potential, but DICE dropped the ball with this, trying to experiment and please the new generation of players with things like specialists, skins, and every other nonsense. It's very, very mainstream. On a ranking scale of how good the game is, it's basically just average. It's nowhere near the highs of the franchise, but it's also no longer a broken product. It had a horrible launch that nearly wiped away the player base and thanks to the multiple updates and fixes, it's now a passable large scale first person shooter game. It has its moments where it can be fun, but it's not the battlefield that we all know it to be. If you get it for less than full price, which was $70, you can easily get your money's worth out of it. I think I've seen it go as low as maybe $5 during a sale. And I think that's a pretty decent price for a game that is now functional. Just don't expect your mind to be blown. And just a side note, you most likely won't make this a game you play for over 2000 hours like the previous games we did in the franchise. This will probably be just a game to pass the time with. At the end of the day, it's ultimately going to be up to you to decide whether you think Battlefield 2042 is worth getting and playing. Of course, there's videos out there that show gameplays and reviews that can help you decide on your choice, kind of like this channel actually. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And that's pretty much it guys. Just my thoughts on Battlefield 2042. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Are you guys planning on getting the game if you haven't already? Or do you think it's not worth getting at all? Do you guys even care at this point? Let me know down below. Lastly, make sure to subscribe to the channel guys. Would really, really mean a lot trying to hit that 1K mark and actually trying to hit that 600 mark since we're so, so close. So let's keep at it. But that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And like always, make sure to be back for the next one. Peace.